So hello people, how are you doing? My name is Elkana and uh, welcome to Nyauma Insights. Today I want to teach you how to include or integrate a blog on your website. The blog is uh, where people find the posts that you're writing about what you do and uh, I mean for example if you're running a website design agency you can write about uh, why people or businesses need, need a website. You can also write about uh, how people can improve uh, the Google rankings of their websites and uh, or how people can rank well their websites on Google. You can also write about um, strategies that uh, businesses can use to succeed online and stuff like that. Yeah. When you have a blog on your website three things will happen number one people will trust you your audience will trust you because they will feel like you know what you do yeah so a blog increases your credibility your trust to your audience number two uh, a blog will help you rank well online because those posts uh, will start ranking on Google if you optimize them yeah so a well optimized website will cause the blogs to also rank well on the internet and uh, that will increase your search engine ranking and people will easily find your company on the internet another thing a blog helps you with is that uh, a blog will help the audience to know more it will educate or educate your audience your 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 audience will be educated by your your blogs for example if they read about strategies to succeed online if you're running a web design agency or a digital digital marketing agency when you write stuff like that when you write about how to take your business to the internet or online they will be educated so three things number one building your audience number two uh, helping you with such engine rankings and uh, number three educating your audience so we are going to learn how to integrate a blog on this website let's go to our website and uh, we're going right here to pages and then we'll, we'll click on add new the page we're going to create is blog page let's call it blog and then we're gonna save it publish here or uh, let's call it uh, articles articles page so I'm going to put the same on the permalink and then ok and then uh, I'm going to update so our blog page is going to be called articles where the articles that we write about our company are going to be. Let's assume these are digital marketing or web design agency. I had created uh, one post here because after creating the page we're going to posts here and say add new post. I had created a post here about why your company needs a website. So I'm gonna copy and paste that this is just uh, a sample post I created with uh, chat GPT for the sake of uh, you know demonstration I have pasted I have pasted it there I'm gonna take this title here and put it on title right there where your company needs a website All right and then I'm gonna go to Pexels sorry pexels pexels.com this is where you find your free uh, pictures and videos so I'm gonna um, type something like uh, happy person using the computer using a computer the computer whatever yes this is a good picture yeah even the other one the other one is also good this one but this one 
doesn't communicate well as this one wow you just found my website oh yeah, yeah, yeah I like what you do uh, let's take the medium 1280 by 853 and we're going to download to our computer let's go to this PC and uh, this is somewhere on new volume D here let's create a new folder for pics and then I'm gonna download there so that is uh, why your website needs why your company why your business needs a website maybe uh, another one will be something like what how to take your business online online business online business yeah like this one you can take your your business online or how to create an online shop for your business this is a good one you can just create using chat GPT and uh, you know uh, yeah this one how to succeed on the internet that one will be a good one she's laughing you can even put that title how to succeed online okay we, we are done with the pictures that we're going to use for our uh, blogs or posts now let's go to uh, Gemini we can use Gemini today we keep using chat GPT all the time Gemini.google.com Gemini is also an AI a very good AI yes let's say how to succeed online with your website even if you type wrongly it will know because it's AI successful website requires da, 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 user friendly yeah this is a good one for the sake of demonstration again because you can't just write articles using AI and expect that those blogs are going to rank no you have to write good posts so you have to scrutinize an article before you you can think that you're going to succeed so let's go to our blog let's put those pictures that we just uploaded this is uh, why your company needs a website okay I'm gonna go right ahead and upload those three posts or other pictures just like that so this one we're gonna use this one for why your company or oh, yeah your company needs a website so you come down here there is a place for featured image right here put that featured image and you can see that it's here then you can say publish so we are done with our first post all right and then we can come here and say add new post and then uh, we put that post from Gemini there we copy and paste this was the post for why or rather how to succeed online with your website how to succeed online with you your website and then we'll go down here and click on set featured image and then uh, we're gonna choose uh, this one she has succeeded that's why she's laughing you can see the picture there then we'll go right ahead and click on publish so that's our second uh, post okay let's write one more how to create an online shop for your your business creating an online da -da 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 choose an e-commerce platform just for the sake of demonstration let me just copy and paste because I I don't like the post as it is we need to make it a better one for example I can't there are platforms I cannot talk about or I cannot recommend 
uh, for you to use to create an online shop the only one I recommended from the previous video was WooCommerce W O O C O double M E R C E WooCommerce yeah how to create an on online shop for your business that was our post title and then we take that picture set image set featured image we take this picture where someone is buying online pictures should communicate the idea yes and then you can see how to create an online shop for your business all that is well and good so we have three posts and you can preview the post you can just right click and say open link in a new tab you can see that your post is right there yeah and then the title of your post is right there and everything is working all right this is just for demonstration as you can see this is a construction uh, image right here but for the sake of demonstrating how to integrate your your blog we just left it there now let's go to that page that we created called articles so we'll click on pages here then we'll go down to articles where is that page it's here view view that page so this is the page it doesn't have anything we're going to come up here when you're logged in you will see edit page right there so this page is blank right now I'm going to click on backend editor so I can uh, I can uh, add an element so I'm going first I'm going to add a, a blank layout here just click on blank layout and then the element I'm going to put on that layout is uh, a blog or posts so you can see that we have post grid here click on that one and then the data source is going to be post yes and then uh, if you have particular categories that you're going to use for your posts you can write you can put the category there but I don't want to put anything I want all the posts on my blog or rather on my website to appear there how many let me say something like 12 all right then I'm gonna go down grid elements paro three that means three posts are going to appear paro right and fed in all that we go to data settings make sure it's descending so that the freshest the newest article can appear first all right and then item design basic grid and that is it the main item you need to edit is the general section or the general tab where you have the category the total number of blogs uh, that you're going to show all of them all the number of blogs that you want to show if it's 12 or 9 or we put it there and then grid elements by row 3 and cooking with gas and then save changes after you save the changes you click on update so now if we go to this page we will see some posts and see the header here articles and then we have this one this part for the the blogs look at that page isn't it fantastic so let's add this page to the menu so I'm gonna go to the website and then I'm gonna go to appearance uh, menus remember I'm using WordPress and then uh, this is our our menu I'm gonna click on that page articles it's the first one here because I just created it yeah so articles and then add to menu or menu and then we can change the menu navigation label to blog yeah it will still appear as articles when you click on it but uh, 
it will appear on as blog on the menu save the menu and then come to your website and refresh we will see blog here you can see that there is blog here we click on it very easy these are very simple things to do so thank you so much so that is it for integrating a blog on your website thank you so much for watching my videos i love you and i love you for the support and for being patient with me watching my videos and i don't take that for granted so thank you so much if you haven't subscribed to my channel i would like to gladly invite you to subscribe because i'm just getting started so thank you so much subscribe share like tell a brother or a sister to watch and grow so they can grow their business and uh, start laughing all the way to the bank who knows thank you so much and i will see you in the next one Bye bye